One day after it was revealed that Donald Trump tried to fire special counsel Robert Mueller and White House counsel Don McGahn intervened, the Trump-Russia investigation is expanding. Now that Trump's obstruction of justice campaign is known to have been far more aggressive and far more criminal in nature than was previously believed, those who witnessed or participated in that obstruction effort to being targeted. Among them, Stephen Miller. It's long been known that when Trump first decided to fire FBI Director James Comey, he and Miller authored a letter justifying the firing. McGahn then deemed the letter to be more or less a confession to obstruction of justice, and nixed the letter. Trump then fired Comey anyway, relying on a different letter written by the Department of Justice. Just weeks later, Trump ordered McGahn to find a way to fire Mueller, but McGahn refused and threatened to resign. Why is this newly important Trump's firing of Comey, swiftly followed by his attempted firing of Mueller, constitutes a pattern of obstruction of justice, which is one of the stronger legal indicators for proving intent. Mueller has reportedly already known for months that Trump had previously tried to fire him, but Congress didnt know until it hit the news wires yesterday. So now Dianne Feinstein, the ranking member of the Senate Judiciary Committee is taking action. Feinstein is sending letters to Don McGahn, Sean Spicer, and Stephen Millett demanding that they provide documents and testimony with regard to the above events, according to a new CNN report link. It's unclear specifically why Spicer is being targeted, but we know that McGahn is a witness to Donald Trump's obstruction of justice, and Stephen Miller is being targeted as Trump's co-conspirator. Keep up to date with the latest Palmer Report articles via email. Get the latest content first. Email address update preference as new articles are added daily. Subscribe now. We respect your privacy.